the Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan and their children, Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1, were spotted leaving an airport in Santa Barbara. A private jet which brought them across the Atlantic last week, left Farnborough Airport in Hampshire at 1.30 p.m. on Sunday, just over an hour before the grand finale of the Queen's celebrations, the Jubilee pageant, began in central London. It is not clear who paid for the estimated £160,000 cost of the executive jet, which sat at Farnborough from when the Sussexes arrived there last Wednesday until their departure. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle's makeup artist Daniel Martin appeared to reveal the Sussexes were making an early exit from Jubilee celebrations with a Goodbye London Instagram post on Saturday afternoon. Hashtagging his post Queen's Jubilee, he wrote, Appreciation post my sincere gratitude to Nomad London for taking incredible care of me while in London the last two weeks. From the kind and hospitable team, to the tasty mocktails and dinners I've found my new home away from home. Looking forward to coming back soon. The makeup artist went on to share a number of snaps of the interior in his hotel, which is built on the site of the famous Bow Street Court and is one of London's most luxurious. It features luxury interior design and rooms boasting marble mosaic walk-in showers, freestanding clawfoot bathtubs and even views of the Royal Opera House. The Queen sent a security car to meet the family, who have been based in California since shortly after Harry and Meghan quit their official royal roles in March 2020. It is thought they had police backup when they left. There was little sign in public at least of fractured relationships inside the royal family being repaired during their visit. Harry and Meghan kept a low profile watching Trooping the Color with other members of the family from the Duke of Wellington's former office and attending a national memorial service at St. Paul's Cathedral for the Queen's reign. But there was no sign that they had mended fences with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who were in Wales with Prince George and Princess Charlotte on Saturday when the Sussexes are understood to have held a first birthday party for Lilibet. Harry and Meghan, who were booed by some in the crowd outside St. Paul's, are understood to have met Charles and Camilla at Clarence House before the service on Friday. They were spotted driving out of the air to the throne's official London residence. Prince Charles has debunked one of Prince Harry's claims made in his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Charles, Prince of Wales, sat with his grandson Louis on his lap during the platinum pageant on the Mall, a parade to celebrate the Queen's 70 years on the throne. The sweet images broadcast to the world have thrown one of Prince Harry's explosive Oprah Winfrey interview claims into question. Daily Mail diary editor Richard Eden noted on Twitter. Sweet TV images of Prince Louis bouncing up and down on his grandfather's lap while watching the platinum pageant are hard to square with Prince Harry's portrayal of Prince Charles as a cold father who never took him on bicycle rides. In the 2021 interview, Harry said he felt really let down by his father and claimed Charles had never taken him on bike rides when he was young, comments which the Prince of Wales was widely reported to be extremely hurt by. Besides, Prince Harry's biographer, Angela Levin, claims the couple expected to be welcomed with open arms as they return to London after two years since stepping down from senior members of the firm and moving to the U.S. Instead, according to the expert, they came to realize the family has moved on without them. She told, I do wonder if a, Harry and Meghan, decided, we've had enough of this, let's go early. I think they were furious. I think they believed they would come back and be welcomed with open arms, but the truth is that the world, and the royal family, have moved on without them. They thought that everyone would drop everything for them, but they didn't.